Hi, this is Francisco Bujan from Vitacoaching.com. We are talking about dating success for women, and the topic for this video is he's too serious. Uh, there is no fun, no romance. <laughs> if you are dating a guy who is a little bit in this, in this type of mode, you know, a bit too serious. I mean, I get this question a lot uh, from women that uh, who are dating uh, a guy, and they notice that the conversations that they are having. It's either at work or within, uh, you know, school, university context, or uh, you are already dating, and you notice that uh, this man is not really able to uh, to lighten up, to have uh, fun conversations. He he keeps drifting towards very serious topics. You know, it might be politics or religion, or it might be um, his own uh, beliefs. Uh, it might be. Um, you know all sorts of things. Uh, maybe he he's uh, you know very scientific in in his mind and keeps talking about technology, for instance. I mean, uh, there can be dozens of topics that he will engage into that you might feel um, you might think it's uh, really boring. I'm not interested in that stuff. I would like it to be a bit more romantic, a bit more sexy, you know, a bit more teasing, a bit more fun. Is there anything that you can do in these kind of situations to uh, you know to lighten up a date? And my advice or my answer is yes, of course, there is. There are lots of things that you can do. You know, what happens in a date is half your responsibility, half his. It's like you, you start dancing with somebody. If you start dancing, you know, salsa or tango or any, any dance w which requires, uh, you know, couple moves. Um, if you start dancing, obviously, if, you, if two people are, are skilled at dancing, the dance is going to be much nicer. So with conversations, it is the same. Uh, some guys, openly, some women as well, are going to be totally hopeless in terms of conversation. They are not going to be good at, at lightening up a, a conversation and having fun. So, but, you know, in any situation you are in, if you want to give it a try, the best thing to, to, to do is to, uh, to, to bring in topics or approach a conversation or approach the way you relate to him in a way which is much more fun, uh, sexy, you know, uh, oriented. So what can you do to, to do that, <laughs> you know, to, to bring this lightness in the conversation? Basically, it is to um, first to tease him, you know, again, watch the video on how to tease guys, because there are lots of ideas on, on, on this topic over there. What you can do is really target an aspect of, an aspect of his personality he's very proud of, you know, it can be precisely job or material possession, so anything along that line. And you can really challenge him, attack him, you know, in a light way, in a fun way on these things. And that's a nice way of, of teasing him. Uh, you know, another thing is to, to engage the conversation into a more sexual conversation or more flirty conversation. And you do that by asking, uh, asking him questions about, for instance, his sexual experiences or what he's attracted to, you know, in terms of uh, sexual attraction. Um, you can also, uh, you know, ask him more teasing and, and flirty questions like, for instance, would you have a threesome, you know, in what circumstances? Um, you know, these kind of things, these kind of questions are going to bring in what we can call, uh, you know, the sexual dimension in, in your conversation. It's sexual talk. And this in itself forces him to give up on the serious topics and uh, focus on something which is a bit more fun. You know, many guys out there would love to talk about these things, but they are not too comfortable with engaging into this conversation. They are going, they feel they might be of offending you if they talk about it, so they keep it, uh, you know, for, for themselves. Also, it's a nice way to, to stay within a protected area, you know, comfort zone to talk about these very serious topics. But honestly, when you're on a date, if you keep on talking about politics and just, you know, the weather and stuff, it's going to be boring. Obviously, after a while, you want to shift to something which is much more sexy, much more, um, yeah, in interactive and talks about other aspects of, of your life which have to do with, with dating, with love, with relationship, with sex. These kind of topics usually work much better in, in creating complicity. So my advice is, yes, go for it, you know, tease him on that, uh, ask him very direct questions, and um, I'm sure that he eventually will open up and start talking about it uh, a little bit more. Uh, one topic to avoid, yeah, don't talk too much about your exes or his exes. Try to focus on, you know, things in, in general and uh, so that it can involve the two of you. Okay, you take care and have a great day. Bye-bye.